Hi, I'm Steve Madewell. I'm the uh, ex resident eccentric here um, in the Limelson Center for the Study of Invention and Innovations exhibit called Spark Lab. Spark Lab is our hands-on exhibit um, where you can really learn how to invent. And uh, today we're going to be inventive doing some hydroponic gardening. So to start with, you want to find a uh, container. And you can make a hydroponic garden in a large container or you can make it in a really small container. Uh, the hydroponic garden we're going to make today, we're going to use in a small plastic cup like this. And you can use any, any small plastic cup. If it's clear, it's going to work a little bit later, better because it's going to allow you to see what's going on inside your garden, both uh, top and bottom and on the sides. And it'll also allow for a little more light to get into um, to feed the plants. And once you have your container figured out, you want to um, decide what do you want to grow. What kind of plants do you want to grow in your hydroponic garden? Um, if you have any fresh fruit like apples or tomatoes, uh, you break these open and of course they're full of seeds that are just waiting to be planted in your, in your garden. So don't throw them out, save them and you can plant them and they'll, they'll, they will grow. Uh, so you have, you have those seeds, you have beans, corn, even, even popcorn right out of the bag. All, popcorn is just kernels of uh, corn, you plant these and they will they'll grow and you'll grow some popcorn plants. Um, now that you have your, your container and you have the seeds that you're going to try to grow in your garden, uh, you want some kind of a material uh, in here to, uh, to provide a little bit of um, support for the seeds and uh, that's called a growing material or growing, growing medium. So you don't need dirt, um, you can use material such as this. This is polyfill. It's the same stuffing that's in uh, stuffed animals and uh, pillows. It's, it's very light, very um, compressible. But um, fortunately, if you don't have to take your Kermit the Frog apart, you don't have to take your teddy bears apart, um, you can use a lot of different, uh, different things for your growing medium. Even, believe it or not, you can use gravel, just uh, some rocks, any kind of, any kind of uh, material like that, that that allows water to flow through it. Okay, so now we've added some polyfill into our cup. We want to kind of squish the polyfill down a little bit to make sure it's nice and, and, um, and uh, compacted inside the cup. Now we're going to add some of our seeds. And this is really easy. You would just add them like you would regular, um, like uh, just in a regular garden. You want to press them a little bit below the, you want to press the seeds a little bit below the surface. And what we like to do, so you can watch the seeds as they grow, is we like to squish the seeds down um, against the side of the container so you can see the seeds um, as they begin to sprout and grow roots. Okay, just like this. And uh, final step in our preparing of our garden is to add just some plain old tap water right out of the, right out of the kitchen sink. And you want to add the tap water so it's just up to the level where the seeds are. Okay, you don't want to drown the seeds. You want about half the seed to be covered in water. And just like this, we're going to add a little bit of water to it. And if the water, you'll see, is kind of, it takes a little bit for it to go, um, to kind of work its way through the polyfill, you can help it along just by pushing it down a little bit. And if you look on the side, you'll be able to see where the water level is. So you see we've got our, 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 our water level about to where the seeds are. The seeds are in there. And uh, the only thing you need to do now is um, label your hydroponic garden however you want with the type of seeds you've planted. And uh, put this in a nice sunny location like a windowsill. And give it a couple of days. Check on it and uh, you'll be surprised how fast in, a, in an environment like this, how fast the seeds will germinate. Germinate is when they start to grow. That's the process, what's, what's what it's called. And uh, you can actually see the, see the first leaves of the plant growing upward and the roots uh, growing down. And the, just keep in mind that you want to maintain that water level about halfway through down to where the seeds are. And once the seeds begin to grow and you start to notice that some of the leaves are turning green, uh, that's going to tell you that, that tells us that the, the plant is now growing uh, and it's grown to the point where it has some leaves 
that are uh, contain chlorophyll in there, the plant is basically making its own energy from sunlight. And uh, at that point, you're going to want to add a little bit of um, some nutrients to the water. So from uh, the point that you start to see these, the, the, the stems and the first leaves turning green, uh, in any water that you add to the plants after that, you're going to want to add a little bit of plant food. And there's a couple choices you can, you, can, you can do this with. We like to use, one of the easiest things to use is just plain old miracle Grow for house plants. And if you look on the, you can read the labels on the bottle and it'll tell you um, exactly how much to use. It only takes a little bit and um, if, if you don't want to use the liquid, they also have these little plant sticks that, uh, that, are, that are full of uh, the nutrients that the plants need and you can just simply stick them on the side of your garden and that will uh, provide nu nutrients for, the, for your growing plants. And uh, before you know it, you'll have these plants growing up and uh, you can either transplant them into a larger container and continue to grow them hydroponically or um, once they've established a good solid uh, set of roots, you can, you can plant them in traditional dirt and, uh, and grow them from there. If you'd like to make your own hydroponic garden, check out our website. It's at www.sparklab.si.edu or uh, you can come visit us in the museum. We'll be uh, making hydroponic gardens all day on November 6th in our Food for Tomorrow Symposium. Thanks.